Welcome to a complete journey through the process of building a wooden house, from the first cut of timber to the final touches on the roof. This video reveals how raw logs are transformed into a beautiful, durable wooden home using a combination of modern technology and traditional craftsmanship. The process begins with the selection and harvesting of mature trees, typically conifers like pine or spruce, valued for their strength, straightness, and ease of processing. Once felled, the logs are stripped of bark and transported to a sawmill. Each log is sorted based on size, quality, and intended use. Logs intended for machined cylindrical log homes, or a cylindrovene pivno, are fed through a lathe that carves them into perfectly round shapes with uniform diameters. This ensures quick and accurate assembly on site. In contrast, handcrafted log homes, or rubline brivno, follow a more artisanal process. Craftsmen manually shape and notch each log, preserving its natural appearance and individuality. This approach results in a rustic, personalized look. After shaping, logs are dried either by air under shelter or in kilns to reduce moisture content and stabilize the wood. This helps prevent shrinkage and cracking after construction. Logs may also be treated with natural preservatives to resist insects, mold, and decay. Final shaping follows drying. Cylindrical logs are milled with grooves and notches for interlocking joints. Hand-hewn logs are individually carved by skilled workers using chisels and chainsaws. While the logs are being prepared, work begins at the construction site. A strong, stable foundation is essential. Depending on site conditions and house design, options include concrete slabs, strip foundations, or vertical column systems. The installation of vertical posts, or ustanovka stalbov, is especially common for lighter structures or uneven terrain. Post holes are dug to the required depth and alignment is carefully checked. Depending on soil conditions and load requirements, installation methods may include
With the foundation in place and logs prepared, structural assembly begins. Each log is marked and positioned according to the blueprint. Cylindrical logs fit together like a pre-cut kit, while hand-shaped logs require skill and adjustment on site. The first row, known as the first crown, is laid with insulating material, such as flax or jute, placed between logs to ensure a tight seal. Stacking continues log by log following the plans precisely. Cranes or manual lifts help position each log carefully while corner joints are tightly aligned. Corner joints play a critical role in both strength and insulation. In hand-hewn houses, notches such as the Norwegian or saddle notch are used to ensure a durable fit. Wooden pegs or metal fasteners are used where needed. Window and door openings are left according to the plan, and the silhouette of the house takes shape. Even well-dried logs settle over time. To accommodate natural wood movement, builders use techniques like sliding joints, compensator gaps, and adjustable screw jacks above doors and windows. After structural assembly, the log shell is typically left to settle for several months before final interior work begins. This minimizes future movement and ensures long-term durability. After settling, work continues with the installation of the roof framing, or Strapilne Sistema. This part forms the skeletal structure of the roof and is critical for both function and appearance.
Ridge beams and rafters are cut and installed to form the pitched roof shape. A system of battens or counter battens is added to support the roofing material and allow ventilation. Once the frame is in place, the roof is sealed with waterproof and vapor permeable membranes. Insulation layers are added as needed, 